Blessed be the name. Catholic masses worldwide follow the same order with routine responses. Blessed be God forever. But here's something irregular, her. This is my body, which will be given up for you. The celebrant of this mass is not Father Kathleen. These honorific titles do create a sense that, you know, somebody's better than somebody else. Kathleen Blank Reether says she was ordained as a Roman Catholic priest two years ago, a forbidden female in a male religious hierarchy. Every woman I know who's been ordained has gone through the experience of the feeling this, this deep calling and knowing that this was the work she was called to do. This is the Holy Spirit. But under canon law, the Catholic Church excommunicates women who say they practice as priests. The Reverend Aquinas Gilbo leads campus ministries at the Catholic University of America, the National University of the Catholic Church. They're going through all the, the motions uh, of celebrating a sacrament, uh, but they wouldn't be valid. But Reether is not alone. There are about 10 other female priests in the Washington, D.C. area. It's a global movement that includes 250 female priests. In Colombia, 72-year-old Olga Lucia Alvarez says she was called to the priesthood to celebrate mass in remote areas that lack male priests. Thanks. In South Africa, VOA spoke to three women who celebrate mass online and in person with a ministry based on social justice. We are not paid to be priests, which means then those of us of working age have jobs, and many of us have jobs in social activism, whether it's around race or gender or disability. During the service, male-centered words are changed to be more inclusive. In the name of the Holy One, creator, liberator, and breath of life. At an ongoing international Catholic synod, churches list female priests as a major topic for discussion. But the head of the Catholic Church, Pope Francis, disagrees. The church has spoken and said no. John Paul II said this with a definite formula. This door is closed. The church in ordaining only men uh, follows the example of Christ himself, that the church only does what it is that Christ himself did. Meaning the church mirrors Jesus' 12 disciples, the first priests, who were all men. Johannesburg priest Diane Willman calls that gender apartheid. So separate, and you're supposed to be equal, but you're not equal. So what is that about? Why is there a separation that leads to the inequality? And the church was wrong about slavery. The church was wrong in the doctrine of discovery, which they used to justify colonialism. Um, the church has been wrong before, and it is wrong now. No one thinks that females will be allowed to officially celebrate mass anytime soon, if ever. After nearly two millennia of Catholicism, the Vatican only permitted females as altar servers in 1994. Carolyn Prasuti, VOA News, Georgetown.